All right, welcome back. We are on the last level, level eight of lesson eight color LEDs. So we're definitely going to do A, B, D. Um, we might do C as well. And then E is something where you're, yeah, I think C and E, uh, I'm going to leave up to you guys because those are where you get to make something that fits your aesthetic and your creative uh, freedom. So I'm going to let you do those two, but I will do A and B for sure. Um, and I might do D as well. We'll see. Okay, so A first, random lights. Light up a random LED, okay? So create an app that toggles a random light on the circuit playground when you move your mouse on the screen. This can create a flashing light effect like stars sparkling in a night sky. The app has already been started for you with an on event block that detects when the mouse moves on the screen. Your task is to add code inside this block to make a random LED toggle on the circuit playground. This requires using variables with LEDs. Click below to learn more about this. So if we open the black triangle, it shows us exactly what we need to do. So variable LED variable gets seven, color LEDs LED variable dot toggle. This will update the variable. So LED variable gets LED variable plus one, color LEDs LED variable dot toggle. All right, so do this. When the mouse moves on the screen, a random LED toggles. Use variable X gets blank and random number blocks to generate a random number between zero and nine. Use the toggle block, but instead of typing a number as the LED, use your variable instead. Run your code. All right, so this is a lot more simple than it seems. Um, we're going to come in here. We're going to make a variable. So uh, the difference between these three purple blocks, this one is when you're making a variable for the first time. So if I call this LED variable, um, we're going to start it with zero, right? So this is where you're setting up your variable for the first time. After you set it up for the first time, you will not use this top purple block. You'll actually use this bottom one, okay? Um, and so coming over here, if we say... Um, toggle. Okay. We're going to say instead of zero, we're going to say let LED variable. All right. And then in order to change from zero, we are going to say, uh, LED variable gets and then we're going to give it a random number between zero and nine. All right. So that's actually all we needed to do. Um, and so what will happen is when we run this, all right, you can see that as I move my mouse, every time I move my mouse, it toggles a random LED. All right. So that is exactly what it asked for. That's all we had to do. It was a lot more simple than I bet you thought it would be. Um, so let's finish this and go on to the next activity. The next one is an LED counter. So this one is super fun because as you count up, it's going to turn a light on. And then as you get to the last at one, it's going to start turning them off. All right. So let's make sure um, we're at the beginning. All right, so LED counter. We can create a program that toggles the LEDs one at a time in a circle. This requires using variables to keep track of the LED you want to turn on and off, and an if statement to loop back to the start when you reach the end of the ring. This program has already been started for you. You need to fill in the missing pieces. So do this, use your variable to toggle the LED, Use a counter pattern to update the LED so that the next time the button is pressed, it will update the next LED. So we have LED, variable LED gets zero. So it starts at zero. Toggle button. So when we click on the toggle button, this one right here, all right, um, the color LEDs blank will toggle. And then if LED gets 10, LED will go back to zero. Okay, so all we have to do here is, let's see. Hmm. 
put in the LED variable. All right, and then we need to put in LED gets LED plus one because it's going to increase by one each time. So if we run this and we click, 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 there we go. And then here's going to be the question mark. Will it start turning them off? Yep. So there we go. We did everything we needed to do. All right, so we'll click on finish here. Um, like I said, I'm going to make you do the mood lighting, uh, the baby sleep light. Uh, let's take a look at this. I feel like there is a measure of creativity here for this. Um, but let's do it anyway. All right, so it says long distance signal. Create an app prototype that can communicate long distances using the color LEDs. This involves coming up with a visual code for certain words or phrases, sharing that code with a partner, then using that code to communicate. For example, imagine you needed to communicate directions across a long distance or across the classroom. Wait, is this a real thing? It absolutely is. Before the invention of the telephone or even the telegram, people used symbols and visuals to communicate long distances. These methods were especially useful on ships that were traveling together and needed to communicate across the water. A common system was to use flags to symbolize letters and numbers to neighboring ships. All right, so do this. Planning. Decide on an LED pattern to represent north, south, east, and west. You could use different colors or turn some LEDs on and leave others off. Or come up with completely unique patterns for each direction. You may want to draw a, pat a picture to represent your pattern since you will be sharing it with a partner. In code mode, add code to each of the buttons to match the pattern you decided on above. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use colors. Um, and so I know that I want to do one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Okay, so I'm going to do two colors for each one. Um, so we're going to have, but I also want them to be colorful. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to come in here. All right, um, so to start with, I'll do zero and I'll do nine for north. Um, and then I wanna make sure the intensity of these is 100. I wanna make sure the intensity is 100. And then I think I'm also gonna do the two next to them uh-huh so that'll be one and that'll be eight um but the, for these intensities i'm going to do 25 i like that all right so if i run this and do north there we go all right um oh, okay so that would be one and eight all right so reset run Okay, cool. so you can see how the two at the top are brighter and the ones next to them are less brighter. Um, but for north, I'm going to do... Uh, I like the idea of white. Just, you know, the, the, the great white expanse, uh, all the snow. So we're going to do that. So reset, run, north. There we go. All right. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste this into each of them. So I don't have to drag, uh, and reset up all the blocks. But what I am going to have to do is so, okay, we got that. East is going to be green. All right, and so east is going to be um, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So I know that, okay, let's do south first. I know that south is going to be, let's do south as blue. Oops. Blue. All right, and then we know that that is going to be 4. Butterfingers, 
All right, so reset, run, north, south. Ooh, four, four, five, five, three, three, six, six. Oh, um, 100, there we go. So let me double check up here. Yes, okay. All right, so good. All right, we're gonna reset that. Um, for, for east, we're gonna have green. We've already decided that. Nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, wait a minute. So nine, eight, seven, six, five. I think I want three for this. So I'm going to do this and this, and I'm going to do eight, seven, six, and I'm going to make them all 100. So there we go with that. And then same thing over here. Let's make this one red. I'm seeing it in my mind. Like I know what I'm doing in my head. It all come, it'll, it'll work. I promise. One two, three, 100. Okay. Um, so run, we have north, we have south, we have east, we have west. Okay. But there's a problem. Um, I need to be able to turn off all the other LEDs with, with, except for the ones I'm using, right? So let's do that. We've got off. So if I use four up here, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I used zero, nine, one, and eight. So that means two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we got to come down here and do the same thing again. Um, so zero, one. Two, three, four, five, and nine. Did I do that correctly? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Perfect. All right, so same thing down here. We're going to do zero, one, two, seven, eight, nine. Get, let's get rid of the toggle. So seven. So let me see if I did this right. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. All right. So for West, we're going to do the same thing one more time. Um, so one, two, three. So zero, one, two, three. All right. Four, five, Six. Uh oh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So if I did this correctly, reset, run. North, those four. Okay. South, those four. Okay. West, those three. Okay. East, those three. Perfect. And then if I want to turn it all off, there we go. So I have just created an app that uses color um, and lights to tell the person that I'm working with um, which direction to go. So this is gonna be fun. All right, with that, we will click finish on this. Again, I'm gonna let you guys do C and E on your own because they are very much creating your own prototype and being creative. So you don't want someone telling you what to do with that. Um, so with that, we're done and I will see you on the next lesson. Good luck.